In this video, we will show you how to replace your camshaft position sensor on the Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 liter engine. This will be located under your distributor cap along the top rear of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Locate the air in the tube. We're going to loosen this clamp. You can either use an 8 millimeter or a flathead screwdriver. Give this a little wiggle, slide it out of place. A quick inspection, make sure it is still soft and pliable. We'll set it aside. With that dislodged, we can remove our breather hose. Quick inspection, make sure it's soft and pliable. In the center of this area, you'll find that you have a small twist knob. Turn that counterclockwise. Take hold of this. We're going to lift it up and remove it from the vehicle. Now that we have that out of the way, the next thing we'll do is cover our throttle body port. We don't want anything falling inside the engine. Now we can move rearward from here. You're going to find a large wiring harness. It has three connectors holding it in place. Use a small pick or screwdriver to dislodge these. Oh, there's one. Now this one's on the other side of this AC line. It's the same thing, just pop it free. There we are. Now we can maneuver this around as needed. Let's have a look along the backside here. Looking back here, you're going to find your distributor cap. On the distributor cap, you'll find that you have seven ignition wires, four along the passenger side, and three along the driver's side. Before you start removing any of these wires, it's important to make sure that you mark them. We could just use a marker for this if needed. You can also put some tape on them and mark that. The markings themselves, you just have to know exactly where they go. So along the passenger side here, I'll just go down the line. One, I'll make two lines on this next one. Three lines moving forward. Four for the one that's closest to me. Now let's do the same exact thing over on the driver's side there. We only have three wires here. Once you have each one of the wires clearly marked, continue on to removing them from the distributor cap. To remove the ignition wires, go ahead and take hold of them. You can give them a little twist to break them free, slide them out of place. Give them a quick inspection for corrosion. That looks fine. Let's continue down the line. With each one of those wires removed, we can continue on to that cap. For the cap, you'll find that it's held in place with two T15 Torx screws, one along the front and one on the opposite side towards the rear. A quick inspection and we'll set this aside. With that cap out of the way, we have a clear view of our distributor rotor. Now looking at this rotor, we can see that we have two T15 torque screws holding it in place. Go ahead and remove the pair. Go ahead and take hold of that, slide out of place. A quick inspection and we'll set this aside. At this point, we have a clear view of our camshaft position sensor, but we can't start removing it from the area yet. We need to pay attention to the reluctor wheel here. We're looking for the squared out notch. What you're going to have to do is carefully turn over the engine and align that squared out notch with your camshaft position sensor. Once we do have that aligned, we'll continue on to disconnecting the electrical connector and removing this from the vehicle. 
To be able to turn that reluctor wheel, we'll make our way down along the front of the engine. If you were to look all the way down at the bottom of the engine, you're going to find your crank pulley. In the center of that pulley, you have a 16 millimeter headed bolt. We'll be using a half inch drive socket and ratchet, turn this clockwise only. While we're turning it clockwise, we also need to be paying attention to that reluctor wheel. We need to align that squared out notch on the reluctor wheel with the camshaft position sensor. close now. That looks pretty good right there. As you can see, I have this perfectly aligned. Now we can move along to removing our electrical connector. For this, it has one locking tab. Carefully pull that up just enough that you can slide this out of the way. A quick inspection for corrosion and set it aside. That looks good. To remove the camshaft position sensor from the distributor assembly, we'll be removing two T20 torque screws. There's one of our bolts, a quick inspection, we'll set that aside. Do the same exact thing to the other one. Now that we have both of the mounting screws out of there, go ahead and take hold of the camshaft position sensor and carefully lift it up and out of the vehicle. Set it and lift this up at an angle. There we go. There it is, friend. With that out of position, continue on with cleaning the area. We'll use some compressed air here. Okay friends, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new camshaft position sensor. Carefully take this and put it in position, aligning it inside of your distributor. Make sure each one of those bolt holes are aligned as well and start in each of the bolts. Just have to come in at an angle here, swing it down under, careful not to cause any damage. When you have this pressed into position, before you put in the bolts, double check to make sure the seal is properly aligned. You do not want any moisture making its way inside this area. It will cause a running condition. Just make sure we start each of these in by hand. I'm not going to tighten either of them until they're both started in. Now that they're both started, go ahead and snug them up and then torque those to 19 inch pounds. Be careful not to over torque them. You don't want to break your brand new sensor. Okay, right there's bottomed out. Not gonna go any further than that yet. Okay, let's torque them. Once you have that torqued, take hold of it and give it a light wiggle. Obviously, you don't want to break it off, but we do need to make sure it's completely secured. If this can move around, you're definitely going to have a running condition. Let's reconnect our electrical connector on the back side. Press it in, listen for our click, give that a tug. Perfect. Got our little mounting bolts here. Okay, that's bottomed out. Let's 
go over here. Let's torque these to 18 inch pounds. Double check to make sure that's completely secured in place. When you slide it down, make sure it feels as though it's completely seated. If it's off kilter even a little bit, moisture could make its way inside and that's going to cause a major issue. Once you feel as though you have it in position, continue on with your two T15 torque screws. Start them in, snug them up, torque them to 21 inch pounds. Okay, that one started in. Do the same to the other mounting bolt. One's bottomed out. We'll pause there, make our way to the rear bolt. Let's torque these to that 21 inch pounds. Double check to make sure you're secured in place. Let's continue on with our wires. As you remember, when we took off each of the wires, we had marked them. Make sure you put them back in the same exact position. When you're putting them in place, it's a good idea to use a little bit of silicone paste. You don't need very much, just enough to lubricate it and keep moisture out of the area. Slide it in, listen for a click, give it a little tug to make sure it's secure. If it slides right off, it's not secured and you're going to have a running condition. Oh, I've got wire three here, don't mix that up. At this point, you know exactly what to do. We're going to make our way over towards the passenger side and reconnect each one of those wires. Once again, we're making sure we have them in the proper order and lubricating them. All right, let's check them all. Now that we've confirmed each one of those wires is tight, let's continue with the wiring harness. This had three mounting points. Once you have it in the rested position, go ahead and lock it down. Let's make our way back to the throttle body. Remove the rag, confirm nothing has fallen inside of the throttle body. This is extremely important. You don't want anything falling inside of your engine. It could be catastrophic. Let's get this in place. Along the front here, you will have this small hooked area. That will fit along the forward side of your throttle body. In the center of this area, you will have a mounting stud for this nut to go onto. We'll just go ahead and start it on and snug it up. Double check to make sure this is nice and tight so no dirty or unmetered air makes its way inside the engine. Along the back side here, you will have that one breather tube. Go ahead and slide that into position. Make sure it's secured as well. If you need a wire tie, go ahead and use one. Time for the air inlet. Make sure you tighten your clamp. Have the clamp aligned. Use your eight millimeter. Double check to make sure it's completely secured. Okay friends, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, you wanna go ahead and hop in the passenger compartment. Start up your vehicle, let it run for a little while. Make sure you have no check engine light and no running condition, close the hood and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. 
When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.